So yeah, actually I'm gonna take advantage of the situation and talk a little bit about my experience of Alessandria. Uh, I gotta say I'm pretty, oops, camera. I gotta say I'm pretty, I've got mixed feelings. On the one hand, I think it's an interesting place. Town, not that small though. The citadel was definitely, if, if you like the military history, it was definitely an interesting place to visit. Apart from that, the old town, it was okay. I didn't like the cars in the city center because I'm kind of used to the situation that in Italy, you know, they, they won't allow cars enter the, the center. And usually the, the main squares are only, well, first of all, they're empty and they're like coffee shops all around the main squares, etc. Uh, and they are accessible only to the locals. So you gotta live in the old town. Here, I've been to this two or three main squares and all of them were full of cars. That was pretty surprising. Uh, because we kind of, we can see this movement of people fighting for, you know, green cities, etc. No way, here, it looked like in the, it looked like the 1980s or 70s, right? Um, to be fair, there is not that much to see. I mean, the Citadel was definitely the most interesting. Several churches, some art. So it's a nice place to visit, to see the most important sites. But you can cover everything within two to three hours. Asti is a historic town located in the Piedmont region of northern Italy, with fruits that trace back to ancient times. It was founded by the Ligurians, a pre-Roman people around the 5th century BCE. Under Roman rule, Asti became an important center due to its strategic position along vital trade routes. The Middle Ages saw Asti flourish as a free commune, gaining autonomy in the 12th century and emerging as one of Italy's wealthiest cities, largely thanks to its thriving banking and commercial activities. This period of prosperity led to the construction of numerous towers, churches and palaces, earning Asti the nickname the City of a Hundred Towers. Asti's prominence began to wane in the 14th century after being conquered by the Visconti of Milan and later passing under the control of the House of Savoy in 1575. Despite these political changes, Asti maintained its significance as a regional center. Today it's known for its rich historical architecture, vibrant cultural festivals and the production of the celebrated Asti Spumante wine. Piazza Vittorio Alfieri is one of the central squares in Asti, named after the famous Italian dramatist Vittorio Alfieri. The square was redesigned and dedicated in the 19th century and has since become a focal point of local life. It is surrounded by beautiful buildings that reflect the town's architectural heritage and is home to a statue of Alfieri, created by sculptor Giuseppe Dini in 1862. Torre Troiana is one of the most well-preserved medieval towers in Asti, dating back to the early 13th century. The tower is a symbol of the city's medieval wealth and power, reflecting the architectural style of the Romanesque Gothic period. Its brick construction and tall, slender form offer a striking example of medieval urban architecture. Pasticceria Eden is a beloved pastry shop in Asti, known for its delicious Sicilian pastries. Established as a local favorite, it offers a wide range of traditional Italian sweets, including cannoli, cassata and other regional specialties. Collegiata di San Secondo, dedicated to Asti's patron saint, San Secondo, has its origins in the early Christian era. The first church on this site was likely built in the 5th century, shortly after the death of San Secondo, who was martyred in 119 CE. The current Gothic structure, however, was constructed between the 13th and 14th centuries. The interior of the Collegiata features beautiful frescoes from the 14th and 15th centuries along with wooden quiet stalls from the 15th century, which were intricately carved and are considered significant works of art. The relics of San Secondo, housed in a silver urn, are another focal point of the church, underscoring its religious significance. Chiesa di San Martino is a smaller church with a history that dates back to the medieval period. Originally constructed in the 11th century in the Romanesque style, it was one of the town's early Christian churches. Over the centuries, the, the church has undergone several renovations and modifications. Significant reconstruction occurred in the 17th century, when the church was remodeled to include Baroque elements, reflecting the architectural trends of that period.
Asti Cathedral. The construction of the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta in Asti was initiated to remove the Episcopal Church within the city walls for protection. Originally built between the 5th and 6th centuries, the cathedral has undergone multiple reconstructions, including after a collapse in 1070. It was consecrated in 1095 by Pope Urban II. The current Gothic structure, largely completed in the 14th century, incorporated elements from earlier buildings that has been modified over the centuries, blending various architectural styles. The Museo del Palio di Asti is dedicated to the history and tradition of the Palio di Asti, one of Italy's oldest horse races. The museum offers a comprehensive overview of the event, showcasing historical documents, costumes, banners, and other artifacts related to the Palio. It provides visitors with a deep understanding of this unique cultural event, which has been a significant part of Asti's identity since the Middle Ages. What is Palio di Asti? Palio di Asti is a traditional horse race with origins dating back to the 13th century, making it one of oldest such events. Traditionally held on the first Sunday of September, the Palio features riders representing various districts of Asti competing in a race around Piazza Alfieri. The event is rich in history and is accompanied by a vibrant festival that includes a medieval parade, flag-waving displays and various cultural activities. The upcoming Palio di Asti is scheduled for September the 1st, 2024 continuing the centuries-old tradition that celebrates Asti's rich heritage and community spirit. Cost. One-way ticket from Genova to Asti, 1150. Palio Museum, free. What can we learn? Visiting Asti offers a profound insight into the rich tapestry of Italian history, culture and tradition. The town's medieval architecture, historic squares and religious sites provide a glimpse into its past as a prosperous and influential city. The experience of Palio di Asti, with its deep-rooted traditions, highlights the importance of communal identity and heritage. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Walking the World. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep living your best life. Ciao.